we are going to get ready to season this grill but first we have to clean it with some warm soapy water this is uh it's on the instruction book it said just clean it off obviously i guess just packing grease or just being dirty from sitting there's a bunch of nasty stuff on it so i guess just to clean it off really good so that's what we're doing this is the only time to put soap on this grill and just get it really good and clean Once you start really looking at it, you see there's a whole bunch of just dirt and dust and pieces of stuff. I don't know if it's from the box, little pieces of metal or what. Then it says dry it off really good. Let it dry. And uh, there you go. What I'll do next is just get a bowl of water after I scrub it good and make sure all the soap's cleaned off of it. There were some mixed reviews, you know. Some of it was like, don't do the water, don't do whatever. But listen, the, uh, you know, the manufacturer said clean it with water first time. So soapy water, clean it off good. I'm just assuming there's packing grease or something on here. I don't know exactly why, but I'm gonna do it. Then we'll get to the uh, then we'll get to the uh, seasoning. Okay, I rinsed it off with soapy water. Now I've just got clean, warm water, and I'm gonna get all the soap off, etc. Then I'm gonna dry it. So you make sure you dry it really well. Get it really clean and dry before you start the seasoning process i started seasoning i'm going to do it about four or five times about every 10 minutes uh the, i've already done two seasoning kind of rounds if you want to call it i used the griddle seasoning uh, and cast iron conditioner by blackstone the first time and then the second time I squirted, about 10 minutes later, I squirted the avocado um, oil. It's just high burning oil, really good oil. Uh, you can get it at Food Line or wherever, Publix, uh, any grocery store. Um, but anyway, that's what it's good for, just high burning oil. So it's been about 10 minutes, everything's kind of burned off. You see this black look on it and try not to put too much you do not want a bunch of ex excess uh, oil bubbling up if you see that use paper towel and get that excess off but i'll kind of show you how i've been doing it kind of one round about like that then i take my paper towel oh pretty toasty pretty toasty I get the sides too. They were saying like you can get the sides, all the sides, you know. Ah. Just try to get the whole grill hot. Hot tamale. Woo! Very hot. Just don't want it to bubble up too much. And then give it about 10 minutes, let all that burn off, and then do round, whatever round you're on, do another round. Um, that right there is my third round. So I start, I cleaned it off really good per uh, the instructions with soap and water, let all that dry. And then I cranked it up to about medium to high heat, let it burn for about 10 minutes, and I did my Blackstone griddle seasoning um and cast iron conditioner the first time waited 10 minutes did the avocado oil waited 10 minutes you just saw me do another round of the avocado oil now i'm gonna do one more of those and then i'm gonna top it off with the blackstone 
Okay, you guys, this is round number four. I just wanted to show you this. This is, uh, this is the uh, paper towel holder. And to put it in, you gotta kinda go around from the back and put it in. But look how nice this is, you guys. There's one, two, boom, sweet. I love that little paper towel holder. <laughs> So anyway, remember, just a nice, thin layer. They stress that on the internet. You don't want it to bubble up too much. They said it becomes a sticky, gooey mess. Almost opposite of what we're striving for. So, we shall see. I hope I'm doing it right. It's looking pretty good right this second. Um, all right. There we go. Not too much. You just rub it all in, get it all over the whole thing, even the sides. That back part, I haven't saw people doing the front part. I'm not sure why. Guess where just nothing sticks, you know. And then just wait like 10 minutes, let all that stuff burn off. If you see it bubbling and there's excess stuff, said the best thing to do on the internet was um, get a towel, wipe it off, put it down here in a little downspout, a little grease trap. So. We shall see you guys. Ran out of propane. There we go, you guys. Make sure you have propane during this process. Not a lot of fun. But remember, if you have any excess grease or oil on there, uh, just get a napkin and get it off. Put it down the grease trap, etc. I'm going to wait about 10 minutes. I'm going to do my last uh, seasoning step. I'll probably do the uh, Blackstone griddle seasoning and cast iron conditioner. So stay tuned. This is what I'm using on my last step. However, you can just use this or you can just use your avocado uh, oil or canola oil, whatever, just as long as it burns high temperatures. Um, but I'm doing this uh, Blackstone griddle seasoning and cast iron conditioning. Nice thing is you can use this on uh you know after every use all of that good stuff um oh it's hot but you really want to spread it out nice and evenly make sure it doesn't there's not too much on it um and that's it just wait about 10 minutes it should all be burned off maybe a little more but try that out it's about time to cook on this bad boy it's good in season do you notice all of it's getting black it's like all black it's just really nice um just that nice protective layer i want to get a nice coat on everything just not too thick. And if you put too much on it, just get some paper towels and try to even it out. Get rid of some of it. We're going to let all that burn off. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Go season your griddle. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you uh, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos. Upcoming videos are going to be cooking videos. All right. Thank you very much.